Alright, February 22nd, I did a podcast on oil. I had it February. Where's my February? February, right here. I had it pulling back up in a stage four decline on the monthly chart and most likely also on the weekly. Uh, time time adds on and um, each candle morphs the chart. And right now we are above a still declining 12 month moving average. The month is not closed yet, so this could be a wick. Is this a simple pullback and we're going back down or are we going to start challenging when we go challenge those previous highs? Check it out right like that. Do, do, do. And look at that nice pattern. So we could be tracing out forming a bigger pattern right now smack in the middle of it. So on the monthly chart, until we have a close, and if you want to see that wick close below, that still declining 12 month moving average, and then we want a red candle to confirm that that was the turnaround point. Because until you have a red candle, you don't know that you've pivoted yet. You have to wait a red candle following the next month, and then below, and then say, oh, okay, now we've turned. Uh, it's the beginning of a turn. It could go back up, but at least you're, you've proven that you're able to close in the red below uh, turning around from those highs. But until we see that, uh, right now that pullback is going through that 12 month average. You can't enter here short and you can't enter long. Uh, to enter long, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some uh, overhead resistance even on this weekly chart. We're going to zoom in on it. And until we close back above, right here 75 level that's the we could be ranging if i add if we have a break above we go up here and then we play a little bit here consolidation move on the breakout line top to bottom swing rule that's going to bring me all the way back up here to 103 these previous highs uh, previous uh, breakdown uh, support turn resistance all that zone right there because that Oil had a hard, hard fall back in those days. There's my wall. Here's my natural resistance. So that's pretty much the zone where we could be going. But first, you have to go back above the 12 month average, stay above it, and make it incline upwards. And then after that, you'd have a meaningful move um, right up here. So until you close above 75, danger zone, we could be playing for months and months. Remember, these are monthly candles. You could be in here for five, six, seven months. Sometimes when you turn around and it looks a little bit better, you and you know you're still you have close overhead uh, resistance on the monthly. If the weekly is really has a stage two Stan Weinstein breakout, you could play, and then after that, uh, you know that you're going to be hitting some resistance here. You could have a pullback here when you hit those levels, but. Uh, Right now, when we're getting really close to that the resistance line, it's uh, kind of hard. But I think what we need now, what I need now is details. So we're going to zoom in. We're going to look on the weekly, see what we're dealing with. Oh, look at that crescendo red volume on those down days. And uh, oh, that was tough. Pull back on contracting volume. Uh, above a 30 week moving average. So right now you're above a still declining 30 week average. You're not outperforming the SPX. So you got only one out of the three checks to have this green overlay turn, turn green, that a uh, gray overlay turn green, but are uh, you approaching? So it's very favorable if you go from negative to to positive, if we could have a inclining 30 week average, even better if we could have if the volume could pick up and we have nice big uh, green candles, twice the average of the previous four weeks, even better. Uh, we're going through each cloud defined. Well, this is support. Resistance is down here. So this is not uh, hurting us too much right now. I'd really like to see it here and then play around, really get that price action above three week moving average, make it an incline. Uh, so it needs time to recuperate after a move like that. Uh, sometimes, yeah, you do have the V shape, but uh, that it could be a congestion area right there. So you don't want to get in too early. 
You want to be above. You want to be close here, breaking out. Let that 30 moving, moving average catch up because this could actually go back down here and bounce a little bit off. So all here could be a messy zone right now. Where's my... Do I have support? Do, 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 do. Where's my trend line? Um, where's my breakout line? This could have been a small breakout line right here. And maybe over here, have a breakout line right over here. So the pullback, you don't want it to go below the 3 ring average, but that's why one nice breakout pattern, nice takeoff horizontal breakout pattern above an inclining 3 ring average. So it's still early. I had this as a pullback uh, February 22nd. I didn't think it'd go back up that high. It could have pulled back, went back down, but uh, visibly the price action is what is the ultimate judge and jury and is deciding to go back up. Chart morphs, adapt. Uh, don't stick to your premise. If really, you shouldn't be shorting here anymore. If you're above at uh, three week moving average, you're back into uh, uh, stage one. So at stage four, stage one, and this could, I think this can be converting to a stage two. And the best stage two is if we could get above a close above that monthly defined chart, guys. So that's it for oil and uh, no man's land right right now. And uh, the ultimate breakout is if we could get above 75, that would be pretty sweet. And if this is a false uh, back in stage one, if that stage one fails and reconverts into a stage four, then we could be playing the, the premise that we had before. It could be of a stage four decline. We could be resuming that. All right. Keep it short for today. Enjoy, guys. Ciao. <laughs>